Now we'll touch on the spray heads. A lot of the spray heads are the same. Toro, Hunter, Rainbird. There's other manufacturers out there too. These are main, uh, the, the purpose that these serve is mainly to uh, irrigate your turf area in a smaller area. Whereas most of the time with well, the rotor heads they're putting out more water, more gallons per minute than the spray heads. So typically on one zone you see anywhere from seven to nine heads on a zone. As you can see here, I have a 10 Q. That means it sprays 10 foot. The Q stands for a quarter. The tick marks here is telling you where the water comes out. And the screw in the middle, that's where you control how much water comes out of the head. And I'll show you how this all works. And then we'll go with some various, some different nozzles to show you how you can apply it to whatever uh, your needs are. One thing I will point out is uh, some of the manufacturers they color coat their nozzles like uh, Rainbird. Blue is 10 foot, brown is 12 foot, black is uh, 15 foot. And uh, the other manufacturers they do something similar. As you can see that's out quite a bit, quite um, less water than the rotor heads. And you can tell water is coming out this way and this way. Now the set screw in the middle, I can turn it down. Now I don't have as much water coming out and it's not throwing the water as far. And I can turn it all the way off. Now I'll go with a 12 van nozzle, which means I can control where the water comes out. Quarter, a third half or full circle. In the spring I'll get my nozzle, get a screwdriver and rake it across this hole or my fingernail. Because sometimes grass, bugs, sand or what have you gets up in there. And sometimes you have to take them apart, a little air in them or what have you. And with this Nozzle. I can just spin the collar here and it controls whether it's a half, third, quarter, or less. And one thing is that if I want it more to my left, I can spin the top of the, the head here, and it clicks. You're not going to hurt the head. It's designed to do that. And almost all the manufacturers have that option. Another thing, Rainbird is very versatile in the type, different types of spray nozzles. Almost all the spray nozzles always have to have a screen. The reason for the screen is it keeps debris out of the nozzle. It's very important. You can tell the hole is very small. So if you have a half nozzle, it'll have a larger cut in it. Sometimes, to be honest, I use van more than anything, van nozzles. But if I have a boulevard, let's say it's 5 foot wide, 20 foot long, I'll put in a series of 15 SSTs. The water comes out through the tick marks, remember, but it only allows enough water to come out the front here 
to go four foot out the sides it goes a total of 15. And I'll show you what that looks like. As you can tell I have more water coming out the sides of the nozzle less coming out the front. So I'm able to space the heads further apart and with it only spraying four foot in front it's not spraying out into the street or into the sidewalk. Now Rainbird makes these to where they spray 13 foot to 24. As you can tell some of the water shoots down low, shoots in the middle, and shoots up high. You can tell the top is rotating. I can't stop the rotations. It doesn't have any gears. And, like the other spray nozzles, I can control the flow. One thing I will point out, like with so many other nozzles, if you try to turn it down too much, the head becomes, the spray nozzle becomes ineffective. It's not going to water properly. So really, you can only adjust these so much. Now, we go to a Toro spray head. This one, uh, they call it a 570. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty similar to the Rainbird head. A little bit different. The one thing that I have different in it is the nozzle. Now this is an MP rotor nozzle. I believe Hunter bought them out. In my opinion, this is the best rotary nozzle on the market. The precip rate, or the amount of water it releases. Now I'm going to go with a rotary nozzle. These are gaining popularity. Uh, they're very nice in some applications. Where a rotor head sprays too far, and a spray head don't spray far enough. And uh, they're color coded too, and in the instructions will tell you what does what. Now I'll put this in and show you on this too. It's going to show you these tick marks along the side. This is telling me that this sprays a half circle. And it comes with its own screen. It's very little, so you can run quite a few heads on one zone. And also, they have a wider range and more adjustments. You can actually get these to spray 30 foot. And I'll show you what these look like. These heads, again, you need another tool. In the front, this is where I adjust how much water comes out with a set screw on top, just like the Rainbird nozzles. This can control the arc. Okay. And as you can tell, it's basically watering just like the Rainbird nozzle except one's letting out less water, but you spray one space further, one sprays not as far, and a little bit down. So one is spraying down, medium, high. Now I can take this part go on top of the nozzle and now you can see I'm spraying a quarter turn now I'm spraying half a turn and this will actually open up to 210 degrees. Right on top is a very tiny screw. I can turn the amount of water down just like on the other spray nozzles. 